soy sauce. Oh yeah, here's the soy sauce. this video we made a wonderful almond chicken. Today we're going to show you how to take that leftover almond chicken and we're going to turn it into a wonderful egg fried rice. So I want you to stick around to the end of this video because we've got some great tips to share with you, okay? And of course we always want you to subscribe and like our video. Now I'm Chef Don McMillan and we are going to have a wonderful day today and if you have any questions, for example, you want to know about other stir fry dishes or maybe you have a stir fry dish that you like and you'd like to share with us we'd love to do that and of course you know that i'm going to respond to your comments so please put your comments in there and also know that we always have the recipes bottom of the comment file so just check it all out so here is our almond chicken that we cooked in a previous video it's sitting here it's chill okay we didn't eat it all what we're gonna do with it? We're gonna turn it into another meal so we have great meals all day long. Look, look at this. We have here some green onions. I'm going to cut off the tips of the green onions. We're not gonna use those, but we are gonna use the green onion itself. Now remember I was showing you some tips about using your uh, knife and actually how to slice. So let me just push this up just a little bit, give me a little more room. You hold your knife, four fingers there, the thumb right there on the bolt. Don't want to hold your knife like that because it waffles. You want to have a firm grip. And this is called slicing, okay? I'm going to slice these wonderful vegetables, these green onions, at a diagonal. However, instead of slicing it from one tip to the other, I'm going to cut my work in half. I'll just slice it in half this way, bring it around, put the two together, and now I'm going to slice them with the same movement in half the time. At an angle, this way, so we're putting at a diagonal. Or sometimes called bias. Okay, so now there's our green onions. Let's push this off to the side, but that's our edible garnish that we're gonna put on the stir fried chicken. Now, I said it's gonna be an egg fried rice. Let me show you how I like to do my fried rice. And that is, I have a nonstick pan. Let's turn it on. Let's put in a little bit of olive oil. You can use butter if you wish. Coat the bottom of the pan. Even though it's nonstick, we still need to have a little bit of oil there. It's gonna give the egg omelet a wonderful color. Now I have an egg, and let me show you another tip. I told you to stick around, because you got lots of tips in this video. How to break an egg. Most people crack it on the side. Don't do that. What you wanna do is you wanna crack it in the center. So I hold the egg in my hand and hit it on a flat surface, bang, like that. And then just open it this way. This way you get no shells. The egg actually breaks in half perfectly, right? And now I'm going to put a pinch of salt in with the eggs. I'm going to beat it up like this. And I'm going to make an omelet. So let me turn the heat down now my pan is hot. But you don't want to cook eggs on anything higher than medium heat. Low heat's even better, okay? If you do, the eggs cook too fast and they get rubbery. So, and usually, nonstick pans are not designed to cook on high heat. They're designed to cook on moderate or low heat. So let's put our eggs in there. It'll distribute, we'll just move it around, it'll go around and around and make a nice omelet. Let's put this into the sink, rinse my hands off a little bit. Okay, our omelet now, I'm just going to go ahead and turn it. Let's see if I can do this without breaking it in half. Whoa, look at that. We have our omelet. Let's go ahead and change pans. I've got my frying pan right here, place this on our counter. We'll get back to the egg in a minute. Let's cool a little bit, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make the fried rice. Okay, I have some cooked rice. I have some stir fried chicken, right? Let's go ahead and put these together and make another wonderful dish. First of all, let's get my pan hot. Put a little bit of oil in the pan. Give it a little bit of a swish and a stir, like that. Get that oil distributed. And while that's getting hot, look what I'm going to do next. Here is our chicken. 
I'm going to put my knife over the top and I'm just going to cut it down into smaller pieces, right? Because when you stir fry, you have the rice and you don't want the large pieces to overplay the dish. So we want to make it easier to eat as well. Now, what about the flavors? We've got flavors in this dish. Remember, we put the soy sauce, put the ginger and the onions, all these good things are in here, which is gonna make our stir fry just so much better. So let's go ahead and take this off now. We're gonna place it into our frying pan. I'll just use my knife to do that. Okay, and I'll put this off to the side. And now, let's go ahead and heat up the chicken and the peppers and the onion and the almonds. And then I'm going to take this rice that I have cooked in one of our previous videos and let's go ahead and put that in there because we did cook a perfect basmati rice. And that is gonna go right into our stir fry. And see how easy this is, just a matter of minutes really. And look how pretty it looks. But let's do one more thing. Let's season it now with some more soy sauce. So yeah, it goes the soy sauce. And that's good right there. Let's stir that in there. You really don't need to put any salt in there because the soy sauce has a lot of uh, sodium in it. And remember, when you are looking at this video, please comment on it. Let us know what you think about it. Let us know about some of the stir-fry dishes that you've made, okay? Or if you have any questions, that would be equally important. All right, so let's do this. Get it nice and hot. All right, and while my rice is heating up, I'm going to take my omelet and just plant it right here on our table, on our counter and I'm gonna cut it into strips. Now I know a lot of fried rice dishes say to stir the egg into the fried rice. I like to cut it into strips because I think it makes a better presentation. And for those people who don't like to eat eggs, they can just push it off to the side of the plate. But I do think the eggs give a fried rice dish another dimension. And as you already know, when I cook, I like to layer on the flavors. So that's so important. All right, three, two, one, stop for a minute. Okay, now we're gonna taste our dish. Remember I said before, you never wanna trust a chef that don't eat their own food. And I always wanna taste it before I serve it. So here we go. Plus I'm hungry, okay. Oh man, mm. thumbs up. Turn it off. We're going to plate it. Here goes our fried rice. On our plate. Mm. Lots of flavor and a great way to use leftover dishes. Okay? I think it's very important to do that. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my eggs and remember I told you we sliced them? Let's go ahead and decorate our dish with our egg strips. Like that. And one last garnish. Remember we slice up those green onions? Let's go ahead and place them on the dish too. And this is it now. Fried rice, wonderful dish, leftovers, great dish. It's a family favorite. Please let us know if you enjoy this, if you have any questions, and please also like us. And remember that when you are watching Chef Don's cooking videos, they're always simple and delicious.